good morning students in the previous class i have given you few examples of the picture compositions yes now at the end of the class i have asked you to write a composition to a picture yes now we'll discuss about it see if you see this picture okay you can see a what you can see here you can see a boy and an auto and a lady coming out from the auto the boy found something he went to some uh, like police station and again the lady got it so by this observing this you may get some understanding now based on this you have to write a composition picture composition now based on the picture what you can imagine now you can name boy like you can name him like uh, rahul okay rahul one day rahul was walking from his home to the temple okay when he was walking suddenly he saw an auto uh, stopped at a distance little bit distance from him from that auto he saw a lady with hand full of luggage in her hand she came down then she paid the auto driver and with difficulty then after paying the auto driver when she was about to put the purse in her bag the purse dropped off okay that is fell down the lady did not notice about it and she went away rahul who saw this from a distance took the purse and directly went to the police station he informed the police about how this lady had lost her purse and requested the police to uh, return this purse to this owner of the purse that is to that lady to enquire about the lady and return this purse to that lady the police enquired about the lady and found about uh, ab found her address and phone number so they called the lady and returned this purse to the lady then the police informed about rahul and how he gave this purse to them then finally this lady thanked rahul for his honest behavior in this way you can write a picture composition and then you can give a title to this picture also telling that honesty is the best policy now in the previous class as i told you in this class i will be going to explain you a few easy ways to write comprehension questions okay to answer the comprehension questions so normally in your exams and all they'll be giving you unknown passages and under that they'll be giving you few questions in that few questions answers you can find in the passage but for few questions you can't find answer in the passage you'll be thinking how to answer these questions for the questions which you can find in the passage you can answer but the for, for the questions where for which you can't find answers in the passage how you can answer it so for that i will explain you few easy methods okay see now read the passage carefully first as soon as you get an unknown passage in your examination read the passage carefully okay next what you have to do understand the concept correctly idea the theme of the passage first you understand what about what is that passage given next underline the key points key points means some important points underline those important points because you may find answer for a few questions in that key points only don't miss even a single point also don't think that i don't know about it i can't understand it and don't think that it is unimportant it is not important and leave off keep and keep each and every minute point also in your mind okay next do not assume anything based on your personal belief don't think that that only i told you don't think that this is not important this may not uh, the answer for this may not be in this line don't think like that okay try to understand unfamiliar words unfamiliar words means what which is not no which is not known to you for the for few words you won't know meaning na so try to understand that one okay why that word is given how that word is given and for few quest in your comprehension questions for few words they'll give you the they will ask you to write the synonyms of the words don't just write meaning of the word first you see where that word is okay and see because for few words they will give separate meaning separately whereas in a sentence they give different meanings so you try to answer those words like if i take watch watch means you can if it is a verb it will be like seeing if it is a noun it may be hand watch wrist watch it may be so 
the meanings will be different drop if you take drop as a noun so it's like a drops of water we can take if it is a verb in a sentence then what you will do he dropped me near my friend's house so that will be different dropped means what left me like that so the words will be different for the nouns and adjectives and all verbs and all so you see how it is in the sentence where it is in the sentence and then write the synonyms or antonyms of the words next they will ask you like uh, at the last like it may be like fifth question or like that they will ask you last question give the appropriate title for this passage or you write a conclusion your own conclusion for this passage like this they'll give you a few tricky questions you keep these tricky questions at the last okay because if they ask you to give the title if you understand the concept only you'll be able to write the title for the passage but few tricky questions keep it at the last after you understand all these things then you can read the questions and answer them once you understand all these points then you can read the questions and answer them okay students so hope you all have understood how to write a passage yes so now in the next class we'll meet okay if you like this pre uh, video please subscribe my channel and if you want to give any suggestions put it in the comment box and share it with your friends thank you